Welcome to Harp Explorer. My name is Motoshi Kosako, harpist, composer, improviser. On this video series, I would like to share interesting cutting-edge technique of modern harp playing. So we are uh, getting close to Christmas Day, so I think many of you are playing a lot of Christmas music. And today I would like to show uh, how to play uh, one of the very famous jazz Christmas song, which is The Christmas Song by Mel Tome. And I like the version of uh, uh, Nat King Cole uh, it's very much because he uh, really shaped the melody of this tune magically beautiful. I'm going to show you uh, my demonstration on this piece, uh, kind of thinking about uh, the performance by uh, Nat King Cole. So after the performance, uh, I would like to talk about how to play a two fives. Like a, a two five is a very typical uh, chord progression uh, on a music like this, like a standard jazz tune type of music. And then two five. Uh, we have a major two five and a minor two five. So um, I would I would like to talk about both a minor and a major two five chord progression after the performance.
So yeah, here is the chord progression of this music and a basic melody line. The, by the way, um, I didn't play the melody as it is written because this is the chart actually. What chart says is just a basic structure of the music. So when you actually perform, you have to change uh, the basic structure to more like artistic uh, more expressive way. So the melody, uh, as it, it, it is written, it's so boring. Instead of playing like this, often I play like... Something like that. So we call this uh, faking melody, uh, basically changing a little bit. We are not necessarily changing the notes, but uh, uh, the, we, we change the value of the notes or, 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 or the rhythm. And also you can put a little bit of ornament around the notes. something like that. So this is a very fast step for quote-unquote improvisation. You are using the original melody, but you kind of improvise uh, how to deliver that melody. So uh, when, whenever you play uh, jazz music out of the chart, uh, just it's okay to play the theme as it is written, but if you can, try to make it more expressive more more artistic so anyway uh but this is not our main subject of uh, today's video uh, today i would like to talk about the two five chord progression and how to uh interpret uh harmony on a two five and also how to uh, improvise on it so first two five we get on this music is uh, bar two uh b minor seventh flat five to e seventh and then land on to a minor sevens uh, this is a minor two five and this piece is a key of c so all the pedals like this a natural position and then the first major uh c minor c uh, sorry a uh, c major the next one is f at B minor 7, flat 5. So we don't need to touch the pedal up to here. And then, but E7 requires a G sharp. So you have to change the G pedal to the sharp. So this is how most people uh, interpret this harmony, uh, E7. Just change the G, G to G sharp. Actually, uh, this is one way. And the, if you change the G to the G natural to the G sharp, so you end up uh, having this scale. And this is okay, but but this passage sounds like a little bit like uh, East Indian music, kind of oriental. So sometimes it doesn't fit to the jazz context so much. So I often avoid going from F natural to G sharp. If you don't use this uh, progression from F to G sharp, you can uh, still play with this scale. Uh, So two five, and then I, I improvise with my right hand. Oh, oh, 
or something like that. So this is one way to uh, deal with uh, minor 2-5. Another way is to actually make it a little more uh, sound surprising. Uh, you can interpret this minor 2-5 as a uh, major 2-5, but landing on onto the minor tonic. So what I'm talking about is uh, B minor 7 uh, flat 5, but actually instead of using flat 5, uh, use the uh, natural 5, which means, in this case, uh, fifths of the B minor chord is F. So if it, it is F natural, this is a, a minor 7th flat 5, but if you put F to the F sharp, this becomes just normal fifths. And so, and, and actually sounds a little bit surprising when it, it, it went there. Uh, and then when you play E sevens, uh, so if you play B minor sevens with the F sharp, and then when you, you playing E sevens, you add the G sevens. So you end up pedal position like this. Uh, F and G is on sh in sharp position. So it sounds like so it's a little bit of uh, unexpected, unexpected sound with a F sharp. I, I do something one more time. So something like this. So this is another way of uh, interpret minor 2-5. And um, the beauty of this scale, this is a melodic minor scale. Uh, so often the Baroque music, uh, you can hear this uh, uh, scale. But the beauty of this one is you don't have any weird uh, East Indian kind of uh, interval on this scale. So you can really play. And often uh, when I choose this way of playing a minor 2 5, I change the F and F pedal and G pedal together when I'm playing the uh, B minor 7th fret, uh, B minor 7th. Something like that. So uh, this is one way to uh, treat um, minor 2-5. And the other way of interpret this minor 2-5 is when you are playing the E7 chord, instead of using G sharp, you can use the A flat. So yeah, A flat and G sharp is the same note, right? So uh, by using A flat, this um, G natural becomes available. G natural is actually a sharp ninth. It's a tension note. But this sharp ninth sounds really cool. And especially in the jazz, actually, this uh, sharp ninth note on a minor 2-5, uh, the seventh chord, it's really a signature sound of jazz, almost. So let, let me try uh, to play. So this is a, a B minor seven flat five. And then I use the A flat as a third and then play the uh, sharp nines on the top as a G natural. time see this 
this sound is really uh, sharp nine scored um, it's really jazzy so I often uh, use so if I, if I, I improvise from the top of the music uh, It's really jazzy. I love this uh, sound of uh, E7 sharp ninth chord. Then uh, when you improvise uh, with this pedal position, just A flat is in the flat position, uh, just A pedal is on the flat position. So a little bit Again, it's a little bit of uh, East Indian kind of oriental sound here. So, um, if you avoid the progression from A flat to G natural, it's better. But of course, you can include it. It's it's up to you. And so on the often, I what I use is instead of B natural, uh, I use B flat. This sounds really a little bit off, but actually sounds off is really cool on jazz. So or but if you use the B flat, uh, make sure that you don't include B flat in a harmony because uh, as a harmonic note. B flat doesn't really great, but the melodic note uh, B flat sounds really great on E seven uh, sharp ninth chord. So uh, this is uh, uh, one another way to treat uh, minor two five chord progression. Then we can talk about uh, major two five, and on this piece we have our uh, some places our ma major two five, which is uh, fast ending. F minor seventh and B flat seventh, and also a D minor seventh and G seventh is major two five, and but the long one is on letter B G minor seventh C seventh, and this uh, repeated uh, a few times, and also that this is very slow two five motion. So I would like to talk about this chord progression, and G minor seventh. Of course, you need a B flat. So when you're playing the G minor sevens, uh, that your pedal position is like this. Uh, everything is natural position, uh, but a the B pedal. B pedal will be uh, will be there in a flat position. And B minor sevens sounds like this. And a C sevens. So you don't need to touch any pedal. And of course, uh, you can play something tasteful without touching any pedal here. So this is okay. Uh, but if you want to have a little bit of jazz in, in your harmony or phrasing, I highly recommend to use the flat ninth, which is D flat. Change your D to D flat, and this is uh, great. Right? This this a uh, little bit of a kind of twisted uh, harmony is really nice on jazz, and also if you want, actually you can change the D flat pedal while you are playing G minor. So th this makes G minor, uh, the G minor uh, seventh, 
Ah, flat fifths. So it's it, in a way that you change this 2-5 halfway to minor 2-5 uh, by adding the flat fifths on a, on a uh, G minor 7th. So... So this is uh, another way to interpret this, and also uh, on a bebop, actually, often they use uh, E flat instead of E natural. So uh, you ha you add the D flat on the pedal like this, and then when when you hit the C sevens, you can use the E flat instead of E, uh, e natural. And then some of you, some of you said, "Oh, but actually, E natural is a third on our C7, so we shouldn't change the third because that determines the uh, the harmony as minor or major." But actually, if you don't play the E inside of the harmony, it's no problem. Just a, uh, so let, let me do it. So I change So you you hear this kind of phrasing a lot on a bebop especially on a uh, any instrument the harpist actually tend not to think this way because harmony requires e natural so e flat is we cannot use it, but actually we can. Simply don't include E on your harmony, but you can still hear uh, C seven chord there. So I'm gonna try play a uh, from bar uh, eleven to fourteen. Uh, those are G minor seven C sevens, G minor seven C sevens, G minor C sevens, F major progression and using different way. Something like that. So this is how I uh, interpret a major 2-5 chord progression. I show only a few examples of uh, how to interpret 2-5 uh, chord progression, um, but actually you can apply this to any jazz standards or any type of music which has a 2-5 uh, chord progression. So I just uh, suggest you to explore um, the 2-5 and a different piece of music and try to uh, test a uh, different way of playing harmony and also a different way of phrasing uh, improvisation. It's hard to teach how to improvise. I mean, only advice I can give you is just do it and find out. <laughs> and of course, you have to listen to a good music and you're a good, great improviser's performance and you can hear uh, how they shape the harmony and the melody and the improvisation and kind of if you start hearing that type of uh, sound inside of you and then you almost done the last step you have to uh, take is listen to yourself and then try to find how to do it on this instrument so it's simple as that so yeah um, just just do it <laughs> um, and then you can learn by trial and error and that is the only way uh, to to master the improvisation so good luck and then I hope you enjoy this video 
So I hope I'm hoping uh, to see you next video. And if you like this video, please uh, push a like button or subscribe this channel. Thank you very much.